Okay guys, I got a quick video here for you on my Galaxy S4 and I just want to bring you guys up to date on this. This has gotten a, a new OTA just recently um, and let me just go ahead and show it to you. OTA update, which is over the air update and there actually already is a root process for it and I just did a video on it the other day. So if you want to update to the newest OTA, which is the MI1 build, um, there is a root uh, process for it already out there and it's pretty simple to do not too big a deal so what I want to show you though is that once you guys have root access and you're gonna have it with super su you get super su install and you have root access so we'll just prove that we have it here verify root access you can see it does have root access right there we can install recovery so we're gonna install safe strap recovery now your last uh, build for this device was ME7 build and it didn't have an unlocked bootloader but it did have safe strap working on it, safe strap recovery uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys that I have gone ahead and downloaded safe strap to my phone, should be in downloads actually we'll go to files and do it there, so file and we'll go to all files device it should be in our downloads. Right here is SafeStrap. This is SafeStrap, like I said, for the uh, Galaxy S4 Verizon version, and it is version of SafeStrap 3.62. So we're going to go ahead and click on this, and it's blocking it. So we got to go into settings, click unknown sources, supply that, and I would go ahead. I'm going to give you guys links to this in the video description. So just download it though to your phone. It's easier. You can download it to your computer and then transfer it to your phone, but it's just easier to go to the link on your phone and download it, and then it's already on your phone. So we'll click on it again. It says, do you want to install it? I'm going to say yes. And accept. Application installed. So we're going to go ahead and hit done. And I'm just going to show you where this application is. So we should see safe strap in here. Right there it is, safe strap. And you're going to click on the application. It's going to ask for root access like this. You're going to go ahead and grant. And um, like I said, does does require root access. So we're going to agree to the disclaimer by safe strap and or by from of safe strap by hash code. Hash code is a developer of this. Uh, really good guy. He's done lots of stuff with safe straps. A really awesome recovery system. Not as good as an unlocked bootloader, but you can't get much closer with safe strap than an unlocked bootloader so it's it's a very good application so all you're gonna do from here you can see it says it's not installed it's not active all you gotta do is go in here and hit uh, install recovery and it's gonna go ahead and install it shouldn't take too very long to do okay it says it's installed but it says not active so the first thing you're gonna want to do once you install safe strap is go ahead and hit reboot to recovery and I'm going to show you uh, how safe strap functions. This is going to reboot your device. Okay, so actually, because you hit the reboot to recovery, it just boots directly into safe strap. Um, from now on, though, if you want to use reboot to recovery, it will boot right to this. But if you want to get to this from just powering off and powering back on, there will be a splash screen that says down here, menu and you hit menu to re do recovery or you hit over here just to skip the screen and keep going or you can leave it for 10 seconds and it'll keep the going through the boot process and you'll see that on reboot here once we do it um, but there's some important things to note you can see your battery percentage you can see the version of twerp recovery or team one recovery project that safe strap is based on and this is where you can go in and you can do backups you can create rom slots you can flash roms all that kind of good stuff is done right here in this recovery system so first thing I'm just going to do is show you really quick that we want to do a backup and I would do a backup of stock right here. So what I do is go ahead and pick a storage and we want the external so that's good, the micro SD card. And then I'd say backup everything and somewhere in here, let's see here, refresh size, that looks pretty good backup name this is auto generated and I actually like that it tells me pretty much everything the date and the build uh, uh, that's very nice I definitely definitely like that so we're gonna go back and that's auto generated so then I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe across and this is gonna do a backup of my stock partition or my stock ROM 
right up here, ROM slot stock. Um, I'm gonna just do a backup really quick, and then I'm just gonna kind of show you a couple things. But if you guys want to know fully how to use Safe Strap uh, on the S4, I have a couple other videos on it for the ME7 build. It's the same Safe Strap. You're just installing it on this device. So do your backup, and then we'll keep going here. Okay, so our backup has completed. Let's go ahead and unlock the screen. It does have an unlock and a kind of a screen saver that turns off when your screen's on for a long time in Safe Strap without doing anything. So it tells you to reboot right here. We're not going to do that yet. We're just going to go back. We've created this backup and it is ready. And if you have anything go wrong with your stock system, you should be able to back it up. But the beauty of Safe Strap is that you don't actually ever mess with the stock operating system. And I'm going to show you what I mean here. Um, right here it says ROM slot stock. And so normally you do a backup right in a recovery and then you'd, re you'd start clicking, you do your wipes and then you do an install and you install something. That's not how Safe Strap functions. You can function it like that, but I highly, highly recommend not to use it like that because it's got a much better way of using it. And the way you use it is you go into boot options and you go over here and you hit create a ROM slot. Now you can adjust the size of some different partitions like data, system, and cache partition. And this is actually new. Before you just got to pick your data size. And now you can uh, plus and minus out the size of those partitions. So recommending on what ROM you're flashing is how big you want to create that. And this all is using up space on the internal storage of your phone. And then you hit create a ROM slot. Once you do that, it's going to take a whole, you know, probably as long as flashing a ROM or longer to create that. This ROM slot's highlighted right now. It's stock ROM. That ROM slot will be highlighted in green. And then when you come back out here, you can flash and wipe and do all your stuff. And what will boot when you're done will be that ROM slot, not your stock system. But if you're on stock system like we are right now, if we reboot, it'll reboot your stock operating system that you haven't edited. It's just got root access and has safe strap installed. So that's kind of the beauty of it. If you want to switch between stock and the, and the ROM you install, you just boot into here, you go to boot options, you turn off the ROM slot, turn on stock, and hit reboot and it'll reboot to stock system. So that's the beauty. You basically are dual booting this uh, device with a ROM, a custom ROM, and stock operating system. That's the beauty of safe strap. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reboot right now. I'm not actually going to flash anything. If you guys stay tuned, I will show you guys how to do some flashing of this and flashing some custom ROMs in Safe Strap as more development happens on this device and on this new build. Um, so here you should see that splash screen right there. And it says Safe Strap is disabled because you're going to boot to um, stock ROM slot. If you're going to boot to a ROM slot, like ROM, ROM, ROM slot 1, that would be green. And it would say Safe Strap enabled. And that'd be booting to a custom ROM you have installed. So that's a little bit of a difference you can see there in how this functions. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much it on Safe Strap on MI1 build for the Galaxy S4 Verizon Edition. Hope you guys like this uh, little quick video on this device. And I uh, hope it was informative for you. I have lots of videos on the Safe Strap. It pretty much works on the same principle on all devices. It does look a little different per device, but not much. Also, because it's been updated, it looks a little different. So if you want to watch any of those, check out my YouTube channel, uh, as always. Um, you can also check me out on Facebook or Twitter on the other side, rootjunkie.com. And I don't know what that is sitting over there. I'm not really sure. We're going to have to find out in a couple videos to come. And anyway, that's it. Root Junkie, out.